Hey guys, so my name is Rob and I'm the lead photographer for mysticphotographer.com and today we are out here. Ironically enough, we're talking about light painting on uh, her request, but as you can see, we're out in the daylight, so it's not as ideal as we like. Usually we like situations where it's lower light, uh, usually twilight works really well, nighttime, anything where there's not a lot of light going on. So some of the basics real quick, you will require a tripod, you will require a flash, a good camera, and of course a lens, memory card batteries, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, another thing which usually light painting is done with engagement sessions, weddings, sometimes models, or just having fun and shooting a landscape, painting the scenery. In this situation, the question was about weddings and engagement sessions concerning a couple. So what we have here is our lovely model. It's a light stick with a piece of paper on it. Piece of paper is to help me focus. And um, what you're gonna wanna do, as far as camera settings go, you're gonna wanna go your ISO as low as possible, your shutter speed as slow as possible. Ideally, I like 30 seconds just because it's a nice amount of time for me to run around, paint with light, and then get out of the frame before the flash goes off. Speaking of flash, you are going to want to set it on rear curtain sync. Uh, look up in your manual, every camera is a little different, or you can go through the speed light settings and change it on there for rear curtain sync. Reason for a rear curtain sync is you want it to capture the detail in the couple right before the shutter closes rather than right as the shutter opens. This will help you get a sharper picture as well as it'll signal to you when the recording is actually stopped so it's convenient for both purposes so how to actually set this up you will want your couple and you considering this is kind of awkward and they do have to stand still for a long amount of time i usually tell the couples like hey you know you guys love the pictures but it does take just a few minutes to get the settings right Ideally, I have the camera set up, the settings all ready to go so that I can put the couple into the shot, pose them, and then we can get it done in five, 10 minutes, depending on what they want, if they like certain things, uh, their wedding date, usually um, their last name, random swirls, sparkles, stars, butterflies, anything. You will want to practice beforehand just painting with light because doing numbers and letters it's backwards so if i were to do a five right here to me a five looks normal but to the camera facing that way the five would be backwards so that is something you will want to practice on your own now we got our model here or i'll stand in my assistant will stand in when we're setting up a shot it is on a tripod because it does have to be very steady for the next uh, 30 seconds so you'll want to focus on where the couple will be standing, as well as setting up some uh, boundaries. Uh, for this example, I'm going very wide, so as to know where I can move around. But you'll want to set up some boundaries. So for example, if I'm shooting a wide angle, I want my assistant to tell me as I'm backing out of the scene where exactly I'm at and I'm out of the scene, I'll mark it. So I got my keys here, I'll just mark it and we'll say that's the outer boundary of the picture. So I know when I'm in the picture, when I'm not. We'll do it on both sides, just so I know which way I can exit and how fast I can. Now, we focus on the model, tell them not to move, they have to stand as perfectly still. I cannot reiterate that enough. And that's also where second, second curtain sync comes in. So, for right now, my light source will be a cheap little flashlight. I picked up for a buck at the local hardware store and they actually do a great job. You won't want to make sure you get good batteries in them because then they'll be really bright. But for my purposes, hey, a buck, I don't mind it. You can also use other things. Sparklers are very common, especially weddings, 4th of July, things like that. You can use pretty much anything. Candles, as long as they don't blow on the wind, glow sticks, whatever you want. But for my purposes, I will be using the flashlight. Uh, using the flashlight pretty easy on and off. If you have a 
sparkler or something more constant light, I usually just cover it up with my hand or I'll take a piece of thicker paper, cardboard, whatever I have and just block out the light. So between each interval, I have something blocking the light that goes to the camera. Now we will start off, um, I usually use a remote release or my assistant pushes the share button for me so I can be ready to go. But for this example, I'll say shutter. That'll be when you would push the shutter button and then we'll start. So I'm outside my boundary. I make sure I'm not in the picture. They're frozen. Usually I let them talk, hang out. And then once I say freeze, then they'll freeze and we'll get a much cleaner shot. So shutter, my exposure starts. I step into the scene and now I try and work fast as possible. For today, we'll be doing today's date. So I'll start over here. Remember it's backwards. So start at five. Couples are standing still. I'll turn off the light between each number. Do a little hyphen there. And if you can't, if you can't turn off your light source, what you'll do is turn it on and we'll just do a quick two. I'll cover up the light, move over to the next number, and then we'll start the next number. Notice I'm still within my frame. I cover up the light or turn it off, whatever you have, and I step out of the scene. The flash goes off after about 30 seconds, which I usually wear a watch, makes it a lot easier to know roughly how much time I have, or I count out loud so the couple knows how much longer they have to freeze for. Analog or digital, doesn't matter, as long as you can see easily, okay, I got 10 seconds left, I got five seconds left, I need to get out of the shot. If you are in the shot when the flash goes off, you will show up uh, either as a ghost or pretty well, depending on how much light you've had hit you. Uh, sometimes backlit, uh, not backlit situations, but situations where there's a light behind the camera coming this way, flashes, anything else that may be going on outside or around you, those will uh, also expose you. I like to wear all black or whatever I can to make myself as invisible as possible. Usually I'll throw on a beanie and yes, I might look like a robber, but hey, I'm getting a great shot. So once the flash goes off, couple can move again, they can relax because standing still for 30 seconds is never fun. But hope that helps. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, message me. If you like the video, want to see more, feel free to request uh, certain lessons. I can do whatever you guys like. If not, I can always find out more about it, practice, and then I'll get back to you guys and share with friends, of course. Anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the web.